Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many of you and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost, where you join me cowering in a shed with a dead guy. This is Steve, he's my new best friend. Me and Steve are going to hang out for the next few seconds, then I'm going to be on my way and we're never going to see Steve again. Oh, friendships are fickle in the post-apocalypse. You join me here in Nahant. Now, we have got ourselves a note saying that we're looking for... I've forgotten who we're looking for, hang on. So, in the year 2082, A. Gannon wrote this. Tracked down Bishop hiding out with some of his old crew members up in Nahant, this could be it. Something to do with old technology in Nahant, I'm looking for Bishop. Gotcha. So it could be pretty much anywhere in this wider area, but my priority probably isn't to actually search for him. My priority is to find a place to drop a save, because last save I dropped was here at the Revere Beach Station. So, don't wanna die. Fortunately, that's Croup Manor. Up there, that's probably a decent starting point. Get that place cleared out, build a bed, that's just going to be lovely right there. Though we've got other things that work to my advantage too, which is down here, police station. Saw that on the compass last time. Last time we were at a police station, I suppose the Coast Guard, there was loads of ammo. So, kind of hoping for a big ammo store, because I'm running a little bit on the low side. So, guns out, misty day. Where do we want to start? Yep, and now I'm overtired from my sleep. Fine, I need to get some sleep as well. Let's just head over here. Something's alive, but whatever's alive, it's pretty far from me. That's a toy rocket ship, not meat. Alright. Let's see what we've got here. And don't go too far back that way onto the bridge. We know there's still robots in the fog. If I'm lucky, that's just the robots. And as we go away from them, we'll be in less and less danger. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. May as well just swing through here because bottles... Bottles can be converted into purified or dirty water, depending on what I find in terms of a water source. So bottles are absolutely a flipping lifeline. Yeah, small little station this, not much, but ooh. Okay, and no, actually, I think I was right. It feels like it was shuffling more over there, less over here. I think I'm okay, though, actually. Is that a way to get onto the roof? I think it just might be, and if it is, I was about to say, I could use that to get my bearings. No, no you can't, John, because there's 10 bajillion bits of fog around here, so good bloody luck. Still, it's probably safe up here from melee enemies, so remember, this is it. Ooh, and I can go bowling as well, lovely. Right, well, we're very lucky. Someone might have left something good up here. Aha! New cola bottles. Gladly take all of that, thank you. And also, oh, please tell me that's a... That's not fair! That's blatantly a sleeping bag! Boo! <laughs> Screw you! Also, ooh. Oh my! A suppressed powerful snot. Oh bloody hell, how am I ever going to get that home? That's literally amazing, but it weighs 15.5. My default carry weight right now when I'm in good health is... Yeah, it's actually 110, but it's at 105 right now because I'm suffering minus one strength. I think that's from the overtired. Right. So, I am miles over being able to carry that thing, but it's really, really, really damn good. And it's got a scope on it. Look at it, it's got a bloody scope and everything. Powerful receiver, long light barrel, marksman scope, quick eject. Oh, it's literally perfect. This thing is, this is literally the perfect weapon for me, except I don't have the ammo for it. I can't leave it behind, but how the hell am I going to take it with me? Even if I dump literally all the junk I'm carrying, I'm not even going to be close. Okay, hang on. Is there a container up here I can use? Aha! Okay, I can use this bench as a container. Remember this is here. Come back for it later at some point. That'll be fine. Because if I store it in a container, then it can't just despawn. So, store that in here. I am coming back for you, my darling. Don't you worry. Also, apparently I'm just carrying around full weight in a tactical calibrator 10mm. I'm not sure why I'm doing that. That's a bit of a waste. Okay, from up top, got a bit of a view around, but not much to be honest, no. Okay, made some progress, found something good. Come back for that. Do not forget that's there. That's too amazing to leave behind, eventually anyway. Right, back down onto the street now. There's just a couple of buildings around here. Everything seems pleasingly quiet for the time being. Perfect world, I'd like to do some rad drugs as well, but yeah, I'm a little bit concerned. You know what, if this area is completely quiet, I may as well just have a little bit of a loot 
around here because if someone set up sandbags that would suggest there might actually be something good in here no just someone's little fishing gear not that good at all all right through the gate into the hand proper now i've had a thought see the thing is this whole area was it felt like really being guarded by cultists now what is in this area that the base game doesn't use for anything a church Cultists in the church? I would not bet against it. Those just birds, that's fine. I think, yeah, this house is empty. I think there's one house up there that you can get into, because in the base game it's got some raiders in it. That is Croup Manor up there. So far, everything is actually pleasingly still. I'm happy with all of this. And my brain is also telling me there's no beds here unless you build one at Croup. Uh, I swear there's a house that's open. Just crack this open and also back off in case it's actually a trap. Nope, we are good. Okay, and that is... Ooh, some booze! I'll take some booze and another beer bottle too. I will take all the beer bottles. Because at some point I can convert them into water. I can convert the water into purified water. The cooking station. Is there a cooking station at Croup? Kind of hope there is, because... Oh, Okay. That's probably something at Croup, not here. I'm too close to this house for it to be that. Are we good for the time being? Yeah, I think we're good for the time being. I think this house is open. No, I'm misremembering. Oh, no, it's this one. There's totally more to this house. Yeah, you can see through the windows there. Uh, fine. Let's just have a little look here. That house looks like that. That's definitely boarded up. Now, if there were cultists in the church... Oh... Okay, that was too close. That was too close for it to not be something this end of Nahant, not up there. Question is, what is it? And please tell me that's night and not a radstorm. If it's a radstorm, I'm going to have to make a run for the Oceanological Society. Because, oh, yeah, just be night, please. Around here, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It might be a friend thing. Everyone loves friend things. There's the church. Something's round here. 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 But where? And what? I'm hungry. That I can sort out. That's fine. Oh. No, that's just a bird. Okay. Could be down on the boats. Vats hasn't found anything yet, though. Okay, if it's less here, then that would suggest it is the church. I might have been right on my instincts there, because I thought... Oh! Right. That's... That's trouble. If I just get upstairs... If I could hit the bear with... Hang on, do I have a... Nope! I do not have a critical... I don't have anything even remotely approaching critical. Marvellous. If I get upstairs... Actually, the bear might not even be able to follow me. The bear's pretty fat... Sometimes larger enemies can't get through small areas. I don't know if bears can make it up narrow staircases. That's... That's worth thinking about. Uh-oh. Well, the bear is searching for me at this point. Okay, let's get upstairs. Uh, no! No, no, that's a human. What? the heck is going on? That is a survivor who's supposed to- Oh! Right! Sorry! Um, I think I got confused there for a second. Apparently you're here. Right, 51% chance to hit. That'll do. And um, boom, boom. Come on! I'm always unlucky with this. Just 10 XP. Okay. Wait, wait. Rads are coming from somewhere because I saw something in the door that I think was glowing. But what the bloody hell was it? Uh, do you have anything good? No, you got nothing. Fine. Okay, okay, okay. But it's searching. Whatever it is, it's searching. It hasn't found me. What was it? There was something in the door. And now it's presumably downstairs. Oh, blimey. Uh, any of this? I'll take Medex. Searching that hasn't found me. Okay, there's no way to go up from here. Undetected. Alright. What was it that was downstairs for just one moment there? What was it? Okay, on the plus side, it is getting dark, right? 
Yeah, it's half seven at night. Good. When darkness sets in, I'll be able to sneak around more effectively. That's fine. All right, let's just head over here. Have a little... Oh. Ah! It was the bear. It was 100% the bear. Fine. So, the bear is a glowing bear. And in this game, glowing enemies actually do pass on rads. Just like the ghouls do. Okay. I need to get out of here. And unfortunately, I cannot squeeze through the window. That means the only way down is going to be... Well, unless I can drop through, I might just be able to drop through. If I can just drop through, that'd be marvellous. Come on, just let me drop through here. Yep, undetected. Alright. Now, out the back door. We now know what's detecting me in this area. It's that bear. So I'm going to get down here onto the key... And I'm going to keep my distance from the bear. Alright. That's my plan. So if I just hop over here now. There we go. Down to the boats. Okay. Everything's fine. Aside from the bear that I have basically no way of killing whatsoever. But. Okay. Now I'm a safe distance away from the bear. It feels like not much is happening. So everything's okay down here on the boats. Problem is, I'm going to guess there's nothing I can do to save on the boats. If I could just be a match. I found a sleeping bag already. It just wasn't a real sleeping bag. That's just not fair, game. That's just cheating. More bloody bottles. Okay, one advantage. If the bear starts chasing me, there's loads of places I can flee to. Getting on top of that place that had the sniper rifle is one. Uh, going into these boats, I doubt the bear can follow me there. Going upstairs in this house. There's plenty of places to flee. Let's get out this old girl. It's not great, but at least it's got the range and a scope on it. Now, if I just basically hop down here, do I want to... I think I want to retreat for the time being. In the base game, Croup Manor is filled with ghouls. Ghouls at night, if I've got a powerful silence pistol, won't actually be the worst thing in the world. Let's return to Croup, claim that as a settlement, drop a save, then I can be a bit more bold around the bear. Do I actually know where the bear is, by the way? Because I don't know if I know where the bear is, and that mildly unnerves me. Well, I know the bear's not close by to where I am, because undetected is stable for the time being, so screw it. Stick close by to the shore. Let's head back to Croup Manor. Should be nice and safe for the time being. Okay, coming up on the edge of Croup Manor now. As indeed I would have suspected. Yeah, it's ghouls. Fine. Flagged as dangerous, but headshot one hit kills. It's night. I got a silenced weapon. I should be alright here. Just gotta be careful. Take my shots nice and carefully. Should be alright. Okay, let's just get up here. Have a peek through the fence. Yeah, there's Croup Manor, all right. Okay. Okay. Fine. For the time being. Let's find a way in. There's a way in. Okay. Right. What have we got? One feral ghoul. Yep, headshot or kill. If a headshot can kill, I'm fine. Like, at this point, my carrot has enough armor that I can take a few knocks from a ghoul, I can basically just let them charge me, and then get the headshots, even if I can't actually hit them direct. Question is, how many are there? Because it could be quite a few. And... Right, number one, dead. Backing off, uh-oh, backing off, and... Right, okay, so this, this has gone well. This has gone spectacularly well as a starting point, but that's fine, because as we discussed, I've got plenty of places I can fall back to. Are they following me effectively right now? And looks to me like they are... Okay, one of them is. One of them actually is, yes. Uh, so, just basically use scenery to my advantage, nip upstairs, find a safe place to be... That, then immediately, like, fall down, then immediately fall down and, like, screw everything up. That's fine two and then just wait and then then fall down again uh basically this is all going spectacularly well so far hello no i'm right here i'm right here i'm right i'm right flipping no i'm right here i'm right here there you go and now just wait for him to get close enough 37 i'm gonna hope that's good enough okay that's good enough and that's worth a ton of oh it's worth a ton of rad but it's worth a ton of xp as well close the gate i'm supposedly found that the extra points come back to oh dear 
Okay, it's fine. 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 The rad's the more dangerous bit. And go, go, go. There we go. Lovely. He didn't actually get the hit in. Oh, there's loads of them. Right, right. There's there's ten flipping million of them. Um. Okay. Uh. Plan. 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 Uh. Up to the high ground safe point. Because what I can do is I can just loop round onto here, right, and then loop round onto here, and I can just climb up onto here, and screw the lot of you, I'll just snipe you off from up here. Right, okay, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, you stupid bastards, what are you planning to do now, eh? <laughs> Nothing. That's what. This will actually work to my advantage. And now, I just need to actually... Will they home back to their starting location? Because if they're not planning to... Then that works for me, because they can just stay down here. There's no bed down here. I don't care about down here. Oh, let me see. I'm not sure where the bloody... Did I just see a shadow move down there? Because now I can just pick them off with headshots. If I can just find the bastards. No, that's a Mr. Gutsy. <laughs> I most certainly don't want to lure him over here. I just want to get up top here. Find myself a... Ghoulie ghoul. Where are the ghoulie ghouls? I can't believe that's... Wait, what? No, yes, no, no, that was picking up a mod I dropped earlier. Right, well, I think I've found them. Um, I'm right on top of them right here. Here we go. Right, okay. Uh, screw you. 30%. No, that was a miss. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Now they're, now they're waiting there. And now because I'm directly beneath them, I can't actually do anything to... Okay, stupid plan. Stupid plan in theory... What if I was to lure one of the robots over to help me deal with the... <laughs> this is the worst plan. This is the worst plan I've ever come up with. And... No, come on. Right, well that's done a bit of damage. That's going to lure Mr. Gutsy over... Oh god, what have I just done? I think I've just lured a Mr. Gutsy over to an area I'm actually in. And now I have absolutely no clue where the ghouls are, because they've sort of scattered. Okay, well, this is going about as well as I was expecting it to. Ah, got sight of one feral over there. Okay, and wait. And completely nothing. Good, missed the head repeatedly over there. There we go. Got the shot I needed to. So, one, dead. I know there's another one. There were at least two. I think it was just two, but I was kind of panicking, so I wasn't counting particularly effectively. All right. I think we're good. And now it's dark, and I've cleared out... How many have I killed? I killed... I killed one up there, one on the retreat, I think a third down here, and that's the fourth. So four of the ghouls in Croup Manor are dead, and I'm not. So, so far, that's a win. Right, wherever the other lad is, he's round the other side now. I don't have visibility of him. So if I drop down just by going around over here, then I can now return to Croup Manor, nice and quiet and peaceful like. Close the gates. Any sign of trouble? No, but this is almost the last clip I've got in this old girl. Right, undetected, good. So there's one ghoul now over there, but I'm not sure whether he will effectively manage to roam his way home or not. Also, now it's really flipping dark, and I don't particularly want that light on, because it'll give away my position, and also it makes the whole thing a lot spookier, and I'm not keen on that. Well, there's definitely something still alive in there. <laughs> that wasn't all the ghouls. Well, obviously not. I mean, the toughest ones are in the basement, but the basement's a separate area, so the basement doesn't really count. Uh, so I can clear out the ghouls' top side, build a bed, rest, and then with a save in my pocket, I can just go and see what's in the basement, because I can't rule out... The, the chap I'm looking for, Bishop, he might be in the basement. I just don't know. Right, what do we got here? Sight of something over there. I think I just saw something moving upstairs as well. But now, now it's dark. Now this is going to get a bit harder. Yeah, there was something over there. But uh, I'm going to struggle to find it now. Got my rifle out. How much have we got? We got one up there. Oh. If I can just... Uh, 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 uh. Darn it! No, no good, no good. Okay, they're searching. If they want to search in this direction, that's fine. Hang on, what throwables have I got? Molotov cocktail times six. That's not even that bad, actually. I can use the Molotov cocktails I got off the cult to potentially do some damage to these bastards as they try and actually hunt me down. 
Right, move in. Move in slowly and carefully. Actually, being here, right at the front, this might actually work. I'll take a flip lighter for the oil. This might be a decent spot to snipe them off. Okay. Visibility we've got. Oh! Okay, we definitely got ourselves a glowing one. Uh, next time I get eyes on him. Yeah, there he is. Ouch. It's going to take two headshots to finish off the glowing one. That. That's a problem. Okay, so. Plus side. We're scouting out the place. Uh, though actually, no, even from my pistol, it's going to take two shots. Two headshots to take care of that. Okay. So, let's count them. I have seen two upstairs. I have seen... Oh. I've seen one downstairs. I'm starting to have doubts about whether this is the right way to go. This is too dangerous with a glowing one in sight. Back to undetected, however. And with gun accuracy as it is. Okay, wait and... No. Okay, good. Wait, number two. No. And... Okay. Four bullets. One goes down. Silenced weaponry might just keep me in the game here. And I've got to level up. That there could be my salvation. Alright, what have I got that I can use here? Uh, Gunslinger 3. I'm still actually, unfortunately, a little way off. Okay. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? I've already got Rifleman 2 as well, so I can't boost power there. I could just give myself a tiny bit of extra health with Life Giver. In the base game, that's a terrible idea, because once you get to a certain level, that becomes pointless. But, level 20 is not a million miles away, and instant health regeneration for free forever would certainly be welcome. Grenades gaining a throwing arc would be nice as well. Action Girl for AP coming back. Uh, if it were bonus AP, I'd probably take it. Oh, what's the right thing to do here, then? i tell you what, just a little bit of extra sneak wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. The extra sneak or just the extra health. And people were saying scrounge is not a bad idea. Yeah, actually, finding plenty more ammunition to keep my guns going. But for the moment, I think I just need sneak. I just want to stay hidden. That's got to be the right thing to do. Okay. Count them off here. The one on the ground floor I think is dead. And I think that might have been the same one I saw over there previously. I think he just wanders around on the ground. I think we're down to, hopefully, two. And speak of the devil. Uh, hold still, hold still, hold still. Come on, come on. Come on, that's... I hate you and everything you stand for. That was blatantly a good shot. Okay, go over to something with an actual... Uh-oh. Wait, what? What? What the... Where the cog did you come from? What the... Okay. Okay. Um... Okay, go, 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 and... Yep, go back over to the pistol, because I can actually get lots of shots in. Apparently, I think that might be the guy who came back. Come on. Come on, just... I hate you. There you go, he's dead. Oh, blimey. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who else has... What's found me? What's found... I'm down to nine bullets in my silenced... Found, but by what? Okay, no, no, no. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, there's one down on the ground floor now. One down on the ground floor. I think that might be the guy who just basically found his way home from the bloody area down there. Okay. I see you up there. You'll be the glowing one because you take two headshots to take out. Oh, this has been... Well, that was a real waste of ammo. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Be more comfortable taking manual shots, damn it. Okay, here we go. This guy can go down, and I need to use this gun, unfortunately. Though it's going to draw their attention. I think we're down to two. There's only something up there that I believe is the glowing... Yep, he looks pretty glowing to me. <laughs> From the fact the whole bloody area is glowing, and one who's now down over there. Yeah, fine. Just two more to go, and if I could just nail this guy, that'd be marvellous. Uh, but he's just kind of passing backwards and forwards. Back to undetected, though. I'm glad about that. All right. I'm going in for a closer poke. I'm not convinced I'm going to be able to get the shots I need just by sniping. So as a result, I'm going in. If I stay slow, 
and I pick them off one by one with silenced weaponry. We should be okay, or maybe not, but that's fine. Move, 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 move. That's all fine. And now just hope. Okay, you see that? That's a good starting point right there. And now there's oh, there was totally another one right there. Okay, so there was there was one more than I was expecting. There's, yep, there was totally... Then he ran upstairs for no one explained reason. Well, that's that's absolutely fine. Yeah, I've got the thing set. Okay, if they want to come outside, then basically I'm just going to lay explosives for them. That's fine. You basically run over here. There you go. And then, okay, that blew off your arms but not your legs because it was a really interesting mine. One of those kind of wacky mines that doesn't work like a mine should. Now he's getting all his health back. I'm backing off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay on this. What else do I want to do? Right, the nasty lad's coming down. I got molotovs and I got, got some grenades. Yeah, at least I know where he is. No, we're in searching. Fine. So I got one down on the ground and badly damaged. In fact, well, he's had his limbs blown off, so he's not going anywhere. I should probably just try and focus that guy's limbs off. Uh, probably the best. But actually, I think he's stuck on the thing. So, go. In goes grenade. I don't know whether that did anything, but I can live in... Oh. Okay. Wait. 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 Yeah, I'll take the third shot. And that... Darn it. It went to the camera angle that suggested it worked. Then it didn't. Then it... Kept not. Oh, good. Oh, I'm... Glad about this. I'm so glad this isn't working at all. Right, just go to bloody hell. Right, swing high, swing high, and he's dead from the sword. Okay. So that guy's just, I think he's actually stuck in the scenery, which could actually work for me. That is one, two dead, and a third down on the ground. Uh, found his concern though. Yeah, if he just wants to stay stuck where he is. This is a mess, but screw it, it'll do. Okay, sensible thing to do now. Execute this guy. Um, he's down on the ground. I'll take a handful of rads, but he's out of, like, limbs. So there's only so much he's going to be able to do to me. So just, uh, there we go. Right, he's dead. So that guy, I think, has managed to get himself stuck in the scenery. And I don't think there's anyone else. I think he's actually the last one. Because I've killed three. And I thought there were only... Actually, I thought there were three total. Turns out there were four. Um, I think he's the last one. If he's got himself stuck in the scenery, I might be able to melee him. I'll take a few rads, but I've got some rads to... Oh, I don't have rads to spare. Two thirds of my health bar's gone again. That's why I should not fight ghouls. Okay, stupid plan. Molotovs. Is that going to do any damage to him? Yes? No? Maybe? No, I think it just actually managed to get him free. So I'm just going to keep tossing. No, he's healing it off faster than I'm doing damage. That's completely useless. But he does seem to have actually lost me. Oh, when I say uh, he does seem to have lost me, he doesn't really. He doesn't really at all. Right, okay, 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 okay. Hide at the top, hide at the top, hide at the top, hide at the top, hide at the top. And just go. Go. Oh, yes! Oh my goodness, that actually worked. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm almost dead. And I'm really concerned. If I take any more... Wait, am I taking rads over time? No, I'm fine. I'm fine and I'm not poisoned. Okay. So, at this point, I'm completely screwed. But I can save in my completely screwed state. So, isn't that just marvellous? You got anything good on you, by the way? And it's still searching. I'm still flipping searching. Also, apparently I can't search this guy for some reason. Right. Um, we're not done yet. I'm down to, I think, one hit point. We're not cocking done. Because of course we're not. Right, I'm just going to slap a bandage on just in a desperate attempt to get a tiny bit of health back. I'm assuming I don't actually... It doesn't matter whether I've got a fungal purge, which I don't. So that's academic. Because I can't afford to take it anymore. And obviously no rad away or anything like that. No radax, no rad away, no anything. Right. We're in a lot of trouble. I've got no flipping health. Literally none. And at this point, until I find either a doctor or Radaway, I've got no way of getting it back. Because my, yeah, at this point, my health is too low to be capable of doing a fungal purge, even if I could get hold of one. The only option is, actually, my option is booze. 
I might just have to accept alcoholism again. <laughs> Pretty much. Right, uh, just, yep. Yeah, start doing some booze. Use the booze to get the rads down, step by step. It's the best I've flipping got, all right? I'm also completely out of ammunition from a silenced weapon, which is a disaster. And there's still something, yeah, there's still something in here. There's still something in here and it's pretty radioactive and I can't afford to be taking rads. There it is. Well, I found one anyway. I just need to get a, uh, yeah, clean shot at his head. What are you exactly? Why are you down there? Why haven't you woken up yet? That's fine. Dead. So there's one up there. Ah, there he is. Right, we now know where you are. There's another one upstairs. There's even bloody more. I was calling there were three left. Turns out it's six. Probably more than six. Uh-oh. 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 The skies are going yellow and flashing. Right, I see you over there. Yeah, I see you over there. Uh, but I may have bigger problems right now than ghouls. Uh, which is, I'm almost dead from ra- There's another two ghouls there. I think I need to back out of this place because I need to start making a run for cover because there's a rad storm coming in. Where's the nearest interior? Nearest interior is Ocean Logical. I've just got to get there like right the flip now. Um, and bear be damned, unfortunately. Uh, okay, okay, this is, this is, I'm going to die from rads. I'm going to die from rads and that's incredibly embarrassing after what I've just survived. Okay, go, 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 go. How many more rads can I take? Barely any. Where's anything? Where is literally anything? Okay, the bear was on the road. The bear was on the road. It's fine. We're most of the way there already. There's the church. My vision is blurring. I should not have assaulted Croup Manor. It's a bad idea. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Just get, get over here. Am I being... Where's the bear? I don't know. I don't know where the bear is. And also, I seem to be... Well, if I'm taking rads, the game's not saying it. Um, I think what's actually happening is my health's just creeping ever so slightly up because of the bandages. Right, go. 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 I swear, game, if you've put... If you've put flipping ghouls here at the Oceanological Society, I'm going to be really flipping annoyed. Though, actually, it seems peaceful. It does seem peaceful over here. Okay, just... Also, why is this rad storm not causing rads? I feel like it should do. Like, that that's kind of its, its one job. But, okay, time to... Yep, there's the Oceanological Society. Alright, I just need to uh, take a gamble here. No, don't go over to that, because that does literally nothing. Okay, uh, melee weapon it is, I guess. In we go, and now we just sort of hope. Nothing. Okay. I've got a moment's peace. In a well-lit, lovely area. Nothing's it. Oh. No, something's in here. Okay. Now, in the base game, there's a friendly robot who just likes telling you stories. Oh, the vodka's worn off, and now I'm back down to one hit point. Great. In for a penny, in for a pound. Let's just get drunk. Keep those rads ticking down. Yeah, it's a friendly robot in the base game. A lovely, friendly robot who tells you facts about the ocean. I like that guy. He's like, fine. I'm famished from lack of food because of the bloody parasites. Okay. Okay. But dropping down a level of fatigue. Oh, medkits. And this is going to lose me a bobby pin. Okay, got it. Got it first time. Antiseptic. Right. Oh, good. A crafting component. Marvellous. I am thrilled. On the plus side, the bandages are getting my health back. Oh. Okay, he's still here. Hello! I'd like to learn about the ocean, please. <laughs> the wonderful, wonderful ocean that's not going to murder me. Uh, okay. Vault Tech Lunchbox. That's weightless, isn't it? Uh, I believe it is. Ooh, a magnet cow. Marvellous food! Food, glorious food. Uh, admittedly, oh, irradiated food. Yeah! <laughs> Can't eat that. Can't eat that because I'll die. Uh, nothing in the new cooler machine. And still absolutely A-OK. -okay. Right, and now, oh, the sleep's getting worse. The sleep situation is getting much, much worse. Um, at some point, I might just have to back out and basically try and make it back home. Because I'm struggling on every single front right now. Unless this place has a 
bed, but I don't think it does. I think, like, this area is really lacking in beds. And you're fine, too. Yes, yes, you are. Good. Let's all learn about the ocean together. Ah, that door's expert locked. Nothing I can do there, unfortunately. That is a shame. Unless, of course, there's a... Is there a key somewhere? Oh, I think there is. I think there's a key. Ah, but the key is in the boat at the back. Can't go to the boat at the back, because the boat at the back, I'd take the rads. Uh, right now, avoiding rads is my top priority in the world. Right, nothing of note in there. May as well, on the way back out, check out the research lab. Just on the off chance, I might be able to get something useful. Now remember, in the base game, this is where there are bad guys, but the bad guys are Myalux. And Myalux shouldn't exist yet. So it should be safe. The booze has worn off. I have at least got some health. Like, you know, a whole five, probably. Yep, that's just another one of you. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. In fact, actually, here's a flipping master locked. Oh, marvellous. Uh, yeah, there's the key for that as well. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's in the boat too. So, not much I can do there. Fine. Ah, mute crabs, though. Mute crabs that are coming for, luckily, the robot, not for me. I'm 100% fine with that. And also, oh, 5mm rounds. Literally the worst rounds. Marvellous. I'm glad there's literally the worst rounds. Yeah, the mute crab's taking damage from something. Uh, I'm not sure the robot is actually fighting back, though. Uh, right, okay. Okay, and boom. Right. Mute crab taken care of. Anyone else? Well, you seem pretty calm. I'm going to let you lead the way. Down there? Yep. Okay, good. Yep, unsurprisingly, mute crabs. Uh, I don't believe there's anything much of note in here at this point. Uh, I'll have a look round as I'm not taking rads. The water's too shallow. Okay, this is all fine. Oh, oh no, sorry, I thought you were dead. You were just playing dead there for a second. Oh, but ammo box empty, tragically. Could have used some 10mm ammo, please. <laughs> really, really could use some 10mm ammo. Ah, luckily, this terminal opens up this safe. So, safes sometimes do indeed have 10mm. And, nope. Pile of money, though. If I ever run into anyone friendly again in my entire life, that might be useful for something. Also, medkit, which is always welcome. Oh, it's another bloody one. Economy wonder glue I can hardly resist. Fine. Lost a bobby pin, but I'll trade it for a blood pack. I'm down to only 100 carry weight at this point. And only one bobby pin as well. Okay. Not much, but again, it'll just have to do. And you, of course, didn't have any meat on you because that's just ridiculous. No cooking station for a while either. And that's master lock, so nothing I can do there. Actually, chemistry station. What can I do with you, potentially? Apparently, I have the ability to make some Molotov cocktails. <laughs> but those are completely useless, so let's not bloody bother. Nothing in medicine. I can make some drugs. Drugs is good. Make some... Yeah, an emergency screw up. Psycho jet and psycho buff. Good drugs. Okay. The storm... To me, it looks like it is easing. Okay, I think it's almost morning as well. There's going to be mute crabs popping up. Yeah, okay. I see the... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's one of those things. No, 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 um, for no well-explained reason, so I'm not going down there. <laughs> no, screw you. Screw you, game. I'm not doing it. Oh, blimey. I've got so little health, and all of my fatigue is completely screwed. And in general... Yeah, this isn't going well. Um, but I think the rad storm's over. This is now just normal rain. And the bear seems to have naffed off, which is good. I'm now willing to confidently state we're never going to see that bear again. I've just done the last of the non-radiated food I had, by the way, and it didn't even make a difference. Like, it didn't shuffle my food meter up by even a single notch because of the parasites. But I can't actually do the antibiotics right now because I don't have... Yeah, I just don't have the water to pay for it. Okay, what have we got in here? Church looking peaceful for now. 
No sign of all of the cultists I was kind of expecting. One burnt book, fine. Let's just... Oh, something might be in here. Something's close by. Question is, is it just that bear still being around? Could be nothing of note. Ooh, okay. That's good. That's good. Fair bit of ammo for my non-silenced weapon. I'll take some buff tats as well. Right, get this thing back out. At least I've got some ammunition for that. Lantern on. Let's just head up to the... Found! Found, you say? Interesting. Who exactly has found me? And any chance of... No. Still no sign of Bishop. So. So, 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 so. We've been through the Oceanological Society. We've been through the church. Something found which is kind of odd. We've been through the house that's open. And Croup Manor is, unfortunately... I'm not sure we're going to be able to finish that off. I just can't afford the rads. However... There's one other place that does have beds close by to here. Uh, Libertalia. Libertalia's got a whole bunch of... Right, so there's the bear. Okay, so we found the bear. And now the bear is close by to the church. And I'm trapped in the church. So basically everything's going fine right now. Yep, hello there, Mr. Bear. Um, what I need to do is sneak out of the church and get to Libertalia. Because, yeah... There is absolutely beds upstairs and around in Libertalia. I just need to drop a save because I'm terrified at this point. <laughs> Admittedly, if I were to die and lose all this progress and I could do this again but do it better, that would probably not be the worst thing in the world, but I don't really want to do that. I kind of, you know, I like kind of living with my mistakes. So I'd kind of like to be forced to live with these ones. Any chance I can hop out of the... Nope, can't hop out the window, it's fine. Just hop over here. Out the front door, then make a break to the left because the bear was over to the right of the church. Okay. This oh he was. He's not anymore. Now he's just over there. Okay. Actually. Is is the bear what found me? Is is the bear cool with me as long as I keep I think the bear's cool with me as long as I keep my distance. Oh well that's good. That's very good. Okay, well in that case, I know this area is actually quiet and safe for the time being. Okay. Yeah, we just need to go to, because Libertali is over there somewhere. Fine. I'm running out of hunger and food, because soon I'm going to get to the worst level of food. Then I take damage slowly over time. Then I'm completely screwed. That's it. That's the end. So, I need to get to Libertalia. I've got myself... Um, hang on, what have I got? I've got... I've got a stealth boy, actually. I do have a stealth boy. Potentially, if I could just sneak my way through Libertalia with a stealth boy. But these stealth boys don't last very long. Combine that with a stealth blade. I don't know. That might be, like, half a flipping chance. Also, I'm just going back up here in the vague hope that if I just kind of look at the right spot... The right spot on this blatantly, obviously, actually a sleeping bag. No. No, of course not. Of course I can't sleep in the blatantly, obvious sleeping thing. Okay. Straight down the road here. Everything for the moment seems quiet. I can't even afford to creep anymore. It's too bloody slow. Um, police station. Dead head of mate. Oh. Well, of course there are. Okay. Survivor. Needs to be taken out. And just... And... Dead. Back off. Take cover. Just snipe them off. Alright, seriously. I'm really sorry for my sanity as well as everything else. But screw the lot of you. I need that damn police station right now, okay? Now, to my advantage. Survivors generally hang out in quite small numbers. There's another one. Headshot would apparently not do for you. Interesting. Ooh. Actually, you know what? Already got the Molotov set. Fine. You guys don't have stupid mega invincible forever healing. And go! And about there as well. 
Yep, that'll be a good shot right there. Uh, you're trying to heal, which is interesting. And just come on. Okay, she's taking a pot. Prepare more Molotovs and go. Oh, come on. How has that not killed you off with fire damage yet? How? How, 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 how? Oh, she's almost dead. Uh, she's taking damage every time. Found thing. There she goes. Oh, but apparently there's more. Apparently there's flipping more. Right, good. I don't have the health for this. Oh, I see her. Right, someone died. I think it wasn't her. I think her fire's gone out. Oh, dear. I'm out of everything right now. Right, just need to go for it. Go, 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 go. Oh! Whoa. Okay. Right. Well, you're dead. Which is good. Obviously, you've got no ammo on your body. That would be ridiculous when you were just firing guns at me. Uh, right, undetected. So, got ourselves a police station. I think you were possibly set on fire. Genuinely not sure. Uh, you were... Ah! Survival with a note. To go with Tunnelman's armour. Okay. Have a little look see at the note. Billy, I got the dot dot dot. Now we just have to figure out how to sell it. Stashed it in the dot dot dot. I'm guessing that's there in the base game with those being placeholder assets where the game will just basically procedurally generate a thing and a location. So, oh dear. Well, I got more Eddie Winters holotapes. <laughs> Didn't actually need them for anything, but I got them. Uh, does this place have a... This seems to be a smaller one. I was kind of hoping for a lockup. Like, oh wait, hang on. There is a lockup. It's just over there. Yeah, the police lockup is separate to the actual building, if I recall correctly. Uh, so I've got the tape. But I might be able to help myself to some precious, precious 10mm ammo if I'm lucky down the line. Here we are. Evidence terminal. Any chance I've actually got the ability to? No. That is just some details of the stuff they were investigating. Not actually a way to open up a locked door, unfortunately. Alright. Straight on in that case. I was hoping for some ammunition here, but no matter. And fortunately, everything right now... Seems pretty peaceful. Can't get up there. Uh, yeah. We're close by to the entrance to Libertalia. That looks pretty fine for the time being. Cut through here. Yep, here we go. And then we got ourselves. Yep, there it is. Problem is, this is a big open area. And I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, flipping dear, this is going to be a disaster. Yep, this is going to be fun. Okay, 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 it's fine. I'm being freaked out by bins. It's fine, everything's under control. But you know what, ladies gentlemen? I think that's enough for now. We have to call it apart here because we've been carrying on for quite some time. Next time, well... I'd say we've got one last desperate roll of the dice here. Because with Libertania ahead of me, unfortunately, I'm pretty much almost dead. So almost dead, I'm going to be doing the outro over the flipping Pip-Boy to stop time passing. Because I'm desperately hungry, desperately thirsty, desperately tired, and I'm pretty much out of... Well, I've got some food, but it's irradiated food, and my rads have almost killed me. The assault on Croup Manor turns out to have been a disaster I had to pull out of because of a rad storm. Yeah, now I have to basically fight my way through Libertalia with basically no flipping health in order to get to a bed on the far side. Well, join me next week for what may turn out to be the end of an utter bloody catastrophe. <laughs> in which case, possibly the most sensible thing to do would be actually head down south and maybe try to get into Libertalia from the rear rather than going in the way the game kind of prompts you and wants you to do in the base game. We'll have to see about that, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been Benny a True Nerd. This has been Fallout 4 Frost. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.